It's spooky how much Popper is popping up lately. First, we had the amazing reprints and rarity shifts of Eternal Masters, and now a host of new common cards to add fuel to the already growing Popper fire. For Eldritch Moon, there's a lot at common to either brew around or insert into established Popper decks, and presented here are the top five common cards in that set to look out for in the best budget format there is, Popper. And as always, if you are interested in learning all things Popper, head on over to our Popper, the common meeting place for all things Popper. From deck lists to card discussion to just an awesome community, our Popper is your source for it all. Before we get started with the actual list, there's two honorable mentions. These probably aren't going to have much, if any, of an impact, but they get me so excited at the common level, I just have to talk about them. The first is Falcon Wrath Reaver. This is Red's first ever bear, a 2-2 for two, and it has no downside, which is very exciting for the future of Red, even if it is just a vanilla card. Will this actually see play? Well, Red has got a lot of nice gifts in this set already, but I'm not sure there's currently a place for this card. Along those same lines, Displace is another one that looks super exciting, especially since it's essentially giving us five to eight copies of Ghostly Flicker. But the reason this is just an honorable mention is that decks that already use Ghostly Flicker don't really need eight copies. So while it is neat to have access to, I don't think it's really gonna have an effect on the format. But let's talk about what will likely have an effect on the format. Coming in at number five is Thermo Alchemist. How is that for a spicy card at common? Thermo Alchemist is one red and one whatever mana for a 0-3 defender that has tap to deal one damage to each opponent. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, untap Thermo Alchemist. Thermo Alchemist is very likely going to see play in the established Popper Burn deck, but combo crazy brewers are rejoicing because this might just create a Popper Storm deck, albeit a pretty janky one. All right, now number four is a card that's an obvious inclusion on most lists, and that's the classy Bloodbriar. Bloodbriar is two whatever and a green for a two three plant elemental. When you sacrifice another permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on Bloodbriar. This is fabulous since it works on any permanent you sacrifice. And so that makes this a perfect addition to the Aristocrats deck already showing off in Popper play. This also might be a big kick in the pants to Tortured Existence decks. But the question there is what card you cut it for, always a common problem, no pun intended. Nonetheless, I expect this to be showing up and doing well, especially when you can use it on a creature with Rancor and then get the Rancor back in hand just to cast on the Blood Briar. Super value already, and we're only at number three. Oh my gosh, this set at common is great. The next card not only does amazingly complex things for common, it's dirt cheap to cast, and that's Otherworldly Outburst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. Otherworldly Outburst is only one red, that's all. It's an instant that gives target creature plus one plus zero until end of turn, and when that creature dies this turn, you put a 3-2 colorless Eldrazi horror token onto the battlefield. There's so much to love here. It can be played on your creatures, but you can also play it on your opponent's creatures that are about to die to get you a 3-2. We're going to see this as a go-to combat trick, and it might find a permanent home in Goblin's decks. I mean, imagine the synergy with Goblin Sledder or Maw Greater. As usual, the number two and number one spots are close, and both are awesome, strong cards that you'll be either casting or cursing when they are cast against you. People might disagree over which should have been second, which should have been first, but there is no arguing the value at common here. Number two is possibly my favorite card from all of Eldritch Moon, and that's Wretched Griff. Talk about emerging value at common. This card works great with cards like Muldrifter and Spire Golem, established popper cards that give Mono Blue a bigger beater at the end. This is also going to work very well with a lot of Tron builds an already diverse archetype, which is just getting more and more toys to play with. All right, so what's my number one pick for a card that's gonna hit Popper hard? It's another one drop, sheesh, the value in this set. It blows my mind, it literally blows my mind. No, figuratively, figuratively, and it's in blue, and that 
is Spontaneous Mutation. Spontaneous Mutation is one blue for an enchantment aura with flash that reads, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets negative X, negative zero, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. Why is this my number one pick? You have to understand the popper meta, and also not only what each color has access to, but also what each color lacks. Mono blue has very limited removal, and this card will very likely take the place of Curse of Chains or Coral Net in sideboards. As removal against large cards like Gurmag Angler or other large beaters that blue has trouble defending against. To be given a one cost blue removal that can answer just about any threat is a bonanza for blue builds, and I just know we're going to see this card wrapping around the format. With the exasperatingly high cost of formats like Standard, Modern, and Legacy, Popper offers competitive gameplay, the ability to homebrew and net deck alike, and all for incredibly low and affordable prices. And as Eldritch Moon is showing us, new sets still have super relevance and super impact. Again, if you are looking for all all things popper, be sure to check out our popper, and maybe I'll even see you there. And this video, like all of my videos, like my channel, is only here because of the support of our patron alums over at Patreon. Help me keep making videos like this for all of you by going over to patreon.com today.